talk about uh, some of the missions that you were assigned to, some of the schools? Oh, yeah. Like, what were yeah. your favorites yeah. or the yeah. kids? Yeah, or? Uh, I had it written down. Well, I, my first year of teaching was in a little, in, in Milstad in a small school. And I had four grades in it. I had the sixth, no, six, seven, eight. I must have been five, six, seven, eight. I had four grades. Mm -hmm. And I was the I was the janitor, the youngest sister, and I was uh, asked to, I was supposed to be playing the organ, and I had never had, I had one lesson on organ. Mm -hmm. And so the, the priest didn't like, because I couldn't play like that. Our, our sister that had all this music, you know, that she could play, she could play so beautifully. So I got <laughs> high blood pressure the first, <laughs> first year, and I have had it since. <laughs> no, but I love the children. On the weekend, I cried at night because I, I love the children. You know, I, I miss them. Mm -hmm. and, and oh, we lived above the school. There were two classrooms, and we lived above. So I, I could always go down to the classroom and prepare, and you know, do mm -hmm. things like that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And one of the students, and I, I think I wanted to say. This is happening from every one of the places I have been. I am in contact with some students yet. Mm -hmm. Even still today? Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, one of those students was at that funeral I was just at, and I missed him. He was, we had gotten a little bit later, mm -hmm. there later, and he had left already, mm -hmm. one of my former students. Mm -hmm. you know? mm -hmm. But it's, it's beautiful. I have ties yet with all of the, every place I've been. Mm -hmm. What, um, did you teach a variety of subjects, or were you focused on one or two? Well, in the grade schools, I had, you'd teach everything, mm -hmm. you know. But in, then I moved, I, I, was from, I was in Millstead, and then I went to Fairmont City, and I taught the, I think it was a fourth and fifth grade, and then with the sister in the seventh and eighth grade, mm -hmm. had to have surgery, so I had to go take, here, I'm in the second year of teaching. Uh, take her class and supervise the sister this teaching mine. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. And then I, then I went to, then I came to Bismarck, North Dakota, and I had teaching, I was teaching typing and mathematics. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then I, that sister wanted her all, all the typing classes, so I, that was okay with me and I taught all that. And that was, we were there for four years, and then they opened up a new school in, Kent, in Minot, North Dakota, and we, the whole group moved up there. Mm -hmm. and that's where we taught, I taught there eight years, I think. Mm -hmm. How is it as a teacher and a nun, uh, or sister, balancing, you know, work and prayer, you know, your, your, your prayer schedule and mass and all that, how is that? Oh yeah, working together. Yeah. Well, we I think we were we were very compatible. We were four sisters in Ma in Bismarck, mm -hmm. and so we had a schedule. You know, we'd pray in the morning, and we'd go go to mass. We'd have to walk over to the cathedral, mm -hmm. and then someone, my aunt, picked us up and took us up to school because she had to take some kids up there too, mm -hmm. and, um, and and then we came home and we had. We had a schedule that we stuck. We couldn't. We couldn't have, watch TV though. Mm -hmm. At that time, we couldn't have it. We had a TV, but we couldn't watch it. And uh, and then, I mean, I, I was I was always satisfied. I, I was there was no problem with me at all. Mm -hmm. I, I liked because I knew what I what my objection my object was, you know, because I wanted to be a teacher and I wanted to be a sister. So. And then, uh, then we moved. Uh, as I said, we moved up to Minot, and then we had a bigger group. And that, that was we had a beautiful big house. Yeah. Did the sisters share the housework, or did you have one sister oh, who was we all did housekeeper? It. We all did. We all had parts to mm -hmm. do. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't. I don't even remember, remember anything of being a difficulty. Oh. Before we had the house, the four of, was it four of us? Mary uh, Magdalene, I think it was, I don't know, I think it was three of us were, uh, uh, had to stay in a room, one room at the hospital 
where they had the nurses. Mm -hmm. And we stayed in that one room. We had our three trunks and three beds in one room. Mm -hmm. And then I think there was one cupboard and there was a then and I think there was there was a uh, you know what do you call it? <laughs> where you hang your clothing in. Anyway, and uh then my, my mo mother would uh, bring things over and, and my aunt would bring us a drink. <laughs> then we'd open the window and she, <laughs> she brought us ice cream drinks or something. Mm -hmm. <laughs> It was it was it was hard, but I think we never complained. You know, we knew what what we were after, and then we got the house, and the house was nice. Mm -hmm. So it balanced out. Yeah, it balanced <laughs> out, and I think we didn't. There was no complaining. I don't think any of, them. and uh, both of the sisters that were with me in that that one room, they uh, they were both from North Dakota. And one, one got, got a jar of pin, uh, pickles, uh, what is the name of the pickles? Anyway, there was a pretty loud smell. Mm -hmm. And so we made, I didn't, but the other sister made her put them in the closet so she had to eat her pickles in the <laughs> We had fun, you know, mm -hmm. still, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, we had a, it, so I think we had, we uh, accepted everything because because we have a different. We had a goal, the goals that we were going for. Yeah, and then every summer I went to college. Every for summer. further education. Yeah, yeah. I got a I got a master's in um, education, and then I, I and then there something came out, and sister said, I think you should apply for that. It was a um, a grant that you could go to college at Notre Dame, Indiana with, because of the new mathematics. So I went six summers. It didn't cost us anything for me to go. Mm -hmm. And uh, I even brought the little money back. Mm -hmm. And I got this, my master's in math. Mm -hmm. I had a bachelor's in math mm -hmm. and physics. But, and then um, that, was, that was the most providential thing I did. Mm -hmm. And then I, I changed Teach. I, I was the head of the math department at the co at the high school, and uh, at one year we even beat the public school in, in one of the <laughs> things that we had. You know, we, they were they were humiliated, <laughs> but the the teacher over there was a good friend of mine. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It was it was a. Uh, I, I enjoyed. I really enjoyed math, and the kids knew it too. And I, I changed, I did, uh, I changed in the last few years into the contract system where I told them what they're going to have to do for the whole week. And then they, I, and I taught the basic ideas the first day and the rest of the time they could, they could do it by themselves. Mm -hmm. And I helped the poorer ones by going to their desks. Mm -hmm. So I, so everybody did well, and I had this. This is an aside. There was one guy in the class, and he had finished everything that they had to do for the week. He said, "Couldn't you give me some more problems?" And I said, "Do you have your English done?" He says, "No." I said, "You do that." <laughs> he was the governor of North Dakota. <laughs> Later, he's now. A, He's now uh, in the Congress. He's a mm -hmm. he's a Republican uh, senator. For North Dakota, huh? <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. He was really clever, very clever guy. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's, those are nice things to remember. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I loved I loved mathematics, and sometimes when I I was working a problem and and uh, that I was going to have that they were going to do too. You think I could? think of how to get that. So I went, I went to sleep and I woke up and I had, I was solving it in my sleep. I got up and uh, worked it out. <laughs> I slept and dra ate and drank and everything. It's dedicated math teaching. Math. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mathematics. Oh, I love math. But now I can't do hardly anything. <laughs> but that's age.